fruit's great, isn't it? Yeah, one of your five a day, looks awesome, super tropical. And even Mr. Coordination Spafford himself can use it to make something look half decent. Here is that thing. Today, food art. Why am I doing it with you? Everybody knows that left-handed people are more creative. And you're colorblind. Oh. I've gone for dragon fruit, Mike. Why? Because it's pretty and colorful and you can melon ball it. Oh, melon ball it. Oh, <laughs> it's quite slippery. We're gonna dragon fruit ball all of the dragon fruit out and we're gonna replace it with lots of different fruit so it looks like a really colorful fruit salad. I'm not as artistic as Jamie, so I'm playing to my scientific nerdy side. What are you making? A Rubik's cube out of fruit, of course. <laughs> Ben, where did you get this idea? I was inspired to give this one a go from a photo I was sent by Little Boudoir months ago. I've been saving it for the right occasion. This is it. Ben, what is that? Cheese, feta cheese. It's already in squares. It makes my life easy. What I mean by this though is I am neither a chef, nor an artist, nor a photographer. However, if I was to serve that at a dinner party, it's so much more interesting than a normal fruit salad. And when I upload that to any of my favorite social platforms that may be or may not be food related, I'm hoping it should get a really good reaction. What are you gonna do with that photo, Ben? Upload it to the hashtag food art, along with about half a million other people who've already done it. To where, Ben? Uh, Instagram, Twitter, and Sorted Food, of course. There you go, I may be a chef, but I'm certainly not arty, and yet even I can come up with something quite simple that looks all right. Jamie on the hand, useless, even his looks good. So there you go, you've got no excuses. Food is simple, get involved. You will never see that man look so young and fresh as you did there. He is going to look haggard Spafford is what we'll call him from now That was the last day before he went off to have... Have oh. Evie. And yes, you are right. She is named after a Pokemon because Jamie was a big fan in the uh, Always has been, 2000s. still kind of is. Yeah, her full name is actually Evie Aria Bulbasaur Spafford. <laughs> It's actually cooked with Jamie on Tuesday as well. That was a scampi sandwich. This looks great, and scampi is uh, our British scampi, as it is Sorted Eats Britain. It's great, you should go and watch that. With homemade tartar sauce, doorstep sarni, pub grub, yum! Mm -hmm. Sticking with that thumbery theme, when we threw back to Thursday, we made pork kofta kebabs, which um, I'm well up for. Seeing as I've just been in Turkey on holiday, I've had nothing but Can you kebabs tell? He's come back with a Turkish tan. Yeah. Don't tell me we did another recipe with Jamie as well. Well, he was featuring in the three-way because he always does. He yeah. always squeezes himself into a three-way, and this time it was with broccoli. And I made peanut butter and broccoli soup. Jamie did a roasted broccoli salad, which is awesome. It's better than it sounds. And Barry made a broccoli mornay yeah, so basically in the a afternoon. Bit like a mornay in the afternoon. That's true enough. What's left to do now? All that's left to do is comment of the week. We mm. Now, this is a long one. So bear with me. I'm oh, good. Just when you turned your back on me and reached down into your pocket. So this is from Claudia CG. It's more than just a comment, it's an entire recipe uploaded to the app. It's a lemon cake, it's awesome. But I particularly liked what she wrote in the step-by-step -step process. She made it her own. It's hilarious. I actually found myself chuckling on the train on the way in when I was reading it. Grab a big bowl and pour the lemon yogurt into it. The empty container will be your measure. Actually, first, preheat the oven to 170 <laughs> degrees Celsius. I always forget that part. And then I look like an idiot when I have to wait 15 minutes after getting everything done. Now, we can continue. And it goes on like that, talking in prose up to the bit that I like most of all, she comes to icing the cake. Okay. You'll have to wait for the cake to cool. So now is a great opportunity to watch one of the best sorted food videos ever. This morning gets sorted. No, Just good because fun. Everything. Because I believe that not enough people have seen Mike in a dress, wearing a wig and glossy eyeshadow. Yeah, it's true. I reckon I'm better looking as a female. Not that I wish to be one. Not that if I did, that would be a problem. <laughs> digging. Keep digging. <laughs> what I would say though is Claudia, oh, fully yeah. agree. The it's a great is delicious. Taste as well. We have just baked it. Oh, it's so good. good. Do you know what, Ben? What? 
I do believe that fridge cam had everything. I believe it might have. It had a citrusy sweet cake from Claudia. It had dragons. It had hashtag fruit art fart. It had peanut butter. And it had Mike in a wig. Until next, cheerio. Mm. Why bother doing this? Well, I've got a question to ask you, Mike. Go on in. Am I a chef? No. Can I do this? Yes. Can it look good? Debatable. Right, but can someone that don't, doesn't cook do this? Yeah, a non-cook with a slight modicum of ability will easily be able to accomplish this. Exactly. Oh, I've put a hold of my dragon fruit. Blue cheese in it. Really dish delicious. Really dish delicious. A dish, delicious dish, 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 a dishy delicious. A dish, dish, deli this is disjointed. <laughs> well, I actually, it's a, it's a very Jamie heavy week because I also cook with Jamie That's in a scampi sandwich. Oh, I see what you mean. <laughs> to be sweet, so I'm going for a savoury version. I'm not as artistic as Jamie, so I'm making it a bit more geeky. Ben, what are you making?